Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Selkie, and today I wanted to show you all the progress that I've made with my island. I've sort of been talking about it in uh, my previous videos and on stream with people, and if you don't know, I stream on Twitch every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so go ahead and check that out down below. As you can see, I have flattened my island. I made a whole video about flattening. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and click that link right there. I am, um, I'm very, very happy that I did it. I don't have any regrets at all. I am, um, I was really hindered by how built up my island was. So when I wanted to recreate an area, I was having a lot of difficulties with the flow of it in comparison to, you know, what else was around it. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna go for a theme I've never done before. And that is a dystopian island. So this island is super grungy and industrial. And I feel like it's so it's so fun and cool to, to look at items in a new light. Um, and I, I haven't had a chance to uh, to show everyone on YouTube my progress with it. So I wanted to give you a quick update. We'll go over, you know, all the areas that I've built up, which, you know, as you can see from the map, like it really, it really isn't too much. I'm taking my time with it and I'm, I'm really enjoying doing that. So let's just hop right into it. So right off the bat, when you get off the airport, I have created this wild industrial bridge. Like you have no space to explore at all. <laughs> you have to go right up this bridge. And as you can see here on the right, you can sort of see a neighborhood. You see the streets and everything there. Um, and what you do is walk up and I have this, this amazing industrial like tin pattern that I had found um, that was beautiful and I thought it worked really well. So you walk over here and what I did here is just sort of like, you know, this is, this is supposed to be sort of like a city, a very rundown city. I got a lot of inspiration from from my home in New York City. So this is just a building right here. Um, as you can see, there's some windows on the panels. I've used um, this stove as sort of a fireplace. We have the utility poles and all of that fun stuff. And then you can see some brick panels below right there. And I like the idea of, you know, seeing seeing peaks of this city as you're uh, walking over the bridge, since this is the first thing that you're gonna encounter when you get to the town and you can, you know, sort of see what's going on over here. We have some barrels, um, what looks to be cardboard, that custom design on the floor. So it's super run down, very dirty. And then you get off the bridge right here. And of course you can go and uh, visit residence services if you would like. Um, but what I did here is I made this little stand right here selling cigarettes, whatever, um, sort of to mimic just like a little, a little bodega, something that we'd, you would find in Manhattan, right? Um, so you come over here and I've created a building out of panels there. You can see a door is right here. We have some windows up there. I use this um, black tinny looking pattern to resemble a roof. And then of course some more windows. And then the roof right there is again the stove. And you can see some clothes hanging on a line. Um, and then over here we just have, you know, their garbage that they lay out in the street. I don't know if any of you have ever visited Manhattan, but when it's garbage day, oh my goodness. <laughs> This is what it looks like right here. This is the first building that I did and then I wanted to sort of mimic it on the other side, have it mirror it a bit. Um, here we have some more garbage laid out. Um, we have a bicycle here, a telephone booth, just to, you know, fill up the space. And then we have a another tiny little building here. And if you go down, got a little roach on the floor, some scattered papers, just to really get the feel of what's going on here in Mistwood. Um, and then over here we have what seems to be another building, um, perhaps a commercial building, I don't know. And I just use the silo here as just like a, an extension of the building, another clothesline over here. And then we come down, you know, we have an oil barrel, we have the bug cage over there. It's just super, super grungy. Um, and it was really fun to think about what items work well here. Here we have what, you know, it's like a little magazine stand. Um, we have the rack right here. We have a radio playing um, and some windows to resemble just a very, very small storefront. Um, and then if you come this way, I have just another building here. Um, I'd actually like to add some panels to uh to the ends right there where the uh the bicycle and the oil barrel are just to make it look more real instead of having that cliff design on it 
And then if you walk here, you can see that I've created just another bodega. Um, I use these really fun custom designs resemble, I don't know, beer um, in a fridge or something like that, along with this cigarette sign again. So really fun. And then you come over here and it's just very barren, creepy sort of alley right here. And then of course, this is what you were seeing when you were up on my bridge. And I mean, besides, <laughs> I have not done anything with my beach. As you can see, it is overcrowded with flowers for sure. Um, so I'll definitely be getting rid of those. It's just such a hassle. So I didn't want to, uh, I wasn't up for the task. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. And then I just wanted to create a fun little entrance way to the next component of the city. And right here, I don't know, I was sort of thinking about Prospect Park, which is a huge park in Brooklyn. And now they have the little center where you can use the, the public restrooms and stuff. And I wanted this building to kind of resemble that in a way. We have, you know, a little sign here for it, the clock. For the roof, I decided to use these solar panels and put them in opposite ways of each other. So it just resembles a roof, sort of. And then right here is just a little park area. Um, as you can see, super overgrown. The, uh, the custom designs over there uh, will, will change. Actually, the, the custom design feature that we have now, the search feature, so, so great. So I just... I just got these uh, these new streets, um, and of course, they don't look right anymore there, so I'll be changing that up. But the um, the other one that you can see there is the uh, the brown woodish one, and that's also what I've been using as a door, but sometimes it makes a really cool floor. Um, so I, I imagine that I'll just make the entire space right here that um, wood custom design. Now moving on over here, you can see the back of this, uh, the first house that I had shown you. And then right here, we actually have one of the my favorite <laughs> homes that I've designed here on the left. I just love how like the roof is sort of like this copper. Um, it just looks really cool. Um, I enjoyed making it and I love how when you're at resident services, you can sort of peek at it and see it there in the background. And then we have some more cardboard, um, a lot more garbage bags, all of that fun stuff. And then over here, I sort of wanted to to make this, you know, look like a member of the town would just come and hang out. <laughs> I mean, it, it's super trashy, super trashy. But this would sort of resemble like the front porch, if you will. Um, and then, of course, they're looking at Raymond's house over here. And what I did with his house is, you know, I put a bunch of cardboard boxes and garbage outside. He has a little scooter here that he can utilize. And I put these these um, brick panels in front of his house just to keep the feel similar because not all villagers' homes are going to fit with this design, of course. So I just wanted to to provide some consistency throughout. So that's why I did that. And then if you come over here, and this is actually one of my favorites, I love this little four way. Um, I think that it's really, really neat. Um, if you come over here, you'll see that I've created some more buildings. And I've also included Cole's home in this build right here. And I feel like, I mean, it matches super well. I'm gonna do the same for Raymond, you know, once I build that up more. Um, obviously, you know, all of these items, it takes a lot of time to get the materials for them and craft them. All of these trash bags are courtesy of just really, really kind people who um, have been helping me out. I would not been able to get all these trash bags without the help of others. Just like ordering the panels, ordering the garbages, all of that stuff. It takes a while to build it up. Not only am I consciously taking my time with this build, but I also sort of need to because of the amount of items that I need to, uh, to get here. And then over here you can see a, a porta potty, which I had forgot to mention before when we were in the park area. Just a, a nice little touch to that uh to that public space and now we're approaching the last part of my island here which is in no way complete at all i've talked about this in previous videos before building that city perspective build and i think that it's really neat to see a city in the distance. You might not necessarily be able to utilize the city, but building up all those items to make it look like a skyline is something that I'm very, very interested in. So what I wanted to do here is sort of put a river so you can't necessarily go over there, but have this view that you look out onto as you're, you know, walking down the street. So I just started to build this up. As you can see, we're using a ton of servers. We have the basketball hoop there in the back, um, some more utility poles, the jail bars, and the lighthouse. Nook's Cranny just coincidentally happens to be over there. I'm still deciding whether or not I actually want it there. Maybe to overhear something and then the river can potentially go down or whatever. I haven't really figured that out and um, 
And that's okay. I don't need to because the rest is a, just a blank canvas waiting for me. Um, and if I mess up, which I think is the most important thing about this, if I mess up a build that I just did, I just knock it down and it doesn't even matter because it wasn't connecting to anything, you know, over on the uh, the west side of the island, which is great for me because um, I feel like I'm telling you, I'm so restricted by that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is my town. It's been taking a long time, uh, but I just wanted to provide all of you with that progress update because I know I've sort of been slacking on doing YouTube Let's Plays uh, because I've been doing them over on, uh, on Twitch instead, but I hope that you all really enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the uh, the dystopian vibe. I'm having a lot of fun doing this build. I'm so excited to see where it goes. But yeah, anyway, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content and come hang out with me on Twitch. We can talk, you can ask me questions about your designs. Uh, we could talk about mine. We could talk about anything you want. So be sure to uh, to drop me a follow there. Link, of course, in the description below. Anyway, as always, I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video.